Welcome everyone. In today's lecture, we're going to be covering two topics that are closely related. Firstly, we're going to try and solve some slightly non-trivial problems. And since the problems are non-trivial, we will find it useful to create helper functions that will assist the main function that is trying to solve the task. In addition to discussing helper functions, we will take a look at this idea of recursion, which is a beautiful idea in computer science. And the short way to remember what recursion is, is it's a special case when you're creating a helper function, which is the same as the function that you're writing. Now this sounds quite circular, but as we shall see, it is a very coherent idea. So let's dive in. Now recall from a previous lecture, we discussed this function num days. This function is given two pieces of information, a month and whether or not the corresponding year is a leap year. And it calculates the number of days in that month. So when we were asked to create this function, we would have had a conversation with whoever it was uh, that was asking us to, to do this task. Let us call that person our client. So we talked to our client and we said, all right, we as the software developers, we will write this function for you. But we agreed, us and the client, that they would give us these two pieces of information and we would return the corresponding information, which is the number of days. Another thing we agreed during that conversation was if they gave us a month that was not in the range 1 to 12, then we promised to return 0. So this was the debugged function that actually lived up to that promise. Now I will tell you an important fact about developing software in the real world. It often happens that we have these conversations with our client and then suddenly our client changes their mind. Our client in this case says, wait, wait, wait. I'm not going to give you these two pieces of information. I will give you the month, but I will just give you the year. The client is not going to tell us if it's a leap year or not. They want us to figure out. So the client has changed the signature of the function. Does that mean we have to throw away all our hard work? Well, our friend comes along here and takes a look at this and says, you know what, I can save you some effort. You wrote that function before. Let's use that as a helper to solve this new problem that the client wants us to solve. Don't throw this code away. Use it to help solve this problem. So their first suggestion is to rename the function. Remember, the client wants the function to be called numdays. So we need to call this helper function something else. And our friend suggests, let's call that numdays helper. That seems like a reasonable suggestion. So let's go ahead and change that function name. We'll keep everything else the same. So that's the first suggestion our friend has. And then our friend says, well, you've got that helper function. So now when you're writing the code for this function, at the appropriate point, call this helper function inside the body of this function. Now, what would this look like? Well, our friend is prepared to write the code for us. So let's see our friend's code. Our friend says, well, that helper function needs the month and whether or not it's a leap year. So our friend is proposing this statement, this assignment statement, to calculate if the given year is a leap year or not. Our friend says, a leap year is one that is divisible by 4. So we will just calculate this expression, year remainder 4 and check if that is equal to 0. Remember, this expression on the right-hand side of the assignment statement is evaluated first. And in this case, since this is a Boolean expression, this expression inside the parentheses will evaluate to either true or false. And this 
uh, variable will be assigned to that boolean value. Now that we have that value, we can now call the helper function with the given month and with this calculated boolean because remember the helper function is expecting the month and whether or not the year was boolean. So we have saved our old code and called it at the appropriate place. This seems like a really good suggestion, but let's try and understand what it means for one function to call another function.